More than 1,500 law enforcement officers from around the country attended the funeral of St. Croix County Deputy Katie Lysing today. The Wisconsin officer was killed in the line of duty last Saturday. Officers and community members came to Hudson High School when her casket arrived early this morning. During the funeral, Lysing was remembered for her smile and quick wit. She loved the outdoors, reading, dancing, and golf. Fellow St. Croix County deputies read statements on behalf of her family. There's a void where you used to be. We won't know how to fill it. Kate is a sparkle in our lives, forever burn bright. I'll see you in my dreams, sweet girl. Love, Mom. Deputy Lysine leaves behind a wife and a baby boy. A procession that stretched for more than 20 miles followed her funeral. Jonah Kaplan was there to see the show of support. Deputy Katie Lysing of Blessed Memory, she is the fourth law enforcement officer in the state of Wisconsin killed in the line of duty just this year. Four killed and we're in the fifth month of May. You could feel that tension, you can feel that grief among people here, and it was remarkable to see along this stretch of 11th Street, it took more than 30 minutes for the procession to go through. Take a look at the video. It started with the motorcycles, then the hearse, then you saw members of the family, and then a long, long line of sheriff's offices, police departments from across the region, Minnesota, South Dakota, Wisconsin, all the way down to Madison, Milwaukee, and Janesville, and much more. Speaking to people here, they were putting up ribbons, they were holding flags, again, they were putting messages in chalk. They say what this tribute is about, it's not just for today, but for the days in the future of coming together as a community. Uh, we have a friend who is in law enforcement and just retired, and his statement to us was, you show up, you text the law enforcement, you call them, you shake their hand, and you let them know that you support them. And those four slain officers, let's say their names too. We have Katie Lysing, of course, honored today. Peter Jervis, he was killed in Milwaukee in February. And then the two other officers from nearby in western Wisconsin, Emily Breidenbach and Hunter Scheel. May their memories be for a blessing. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. The neighbors in Hudson say they will keep those tributes out for a while, not just for Katie Lysing, but to remember the work of all first responders.